Okay, back in Montana. Not as nice as Florida right now, that's for sure. I'm having to bust ice just to get out to open water. So, that's what an addict I am. All right, see if we can get something. All right, here it is, my first target back in Montana. Some sort of glue or something. Cement. All right, see if we can get something good. Okay, so here's my first good target. I got a penny. Right before this, I dug a can lid and a bottle with a ring on it still. So, you know, I've actually worked this pretty hard. I don't have real high expectations for today, but hey, people swam last year, so never know. I might bump into something. Man, I have a, a really nice sand and a little oven. Down there. Let's try a live dig. That yeah, might be something. Whatever it is, I think we got it. What do we got? Uh dang. So, piece of trash. Yeah, I just got a pull tab. There's a penny. Well, I can't tell if this is an earring or a lure. I think I'm doing earring because it's just so thin. I just don't think anyone would make a fishing lure blade that thin. Maybe. What do you think? Well, that's an interesting little piece. What do you guys think that is? I have no clue. Some sort of relic. Alright, got my first quarter. Looks like I got me an Apple cell phone. Alright, got me a fishing reel. Not a good one either. So I just dug this 12. And I sound it so good. Look at it. It's like a... I don't know, weird shaped piece of brass. It almost looks like a coin, but it's not. All right, I think I got an old military button. Look at that. It's awesome. Looks like it was a two piece. Anybody know what that is exactly? Not much of a button guy, so that's definitely the the eagle, the seal. That was coming up at 16. Okay, I have no idea what that is. What is it? A little wire on there? It's brass. Crazy. Hey, got me a car. Well, I got a really old, I don't know, lipstick or something. It comes apart. I had it apart. I don't want to do it again. That was hard to get it back together. So it's something Jersey. Cool. Yeah, I'll clean it up, see if I can figure out what it is. Okay, I might have an old button. I don't know if you can see that, but it says Phoenix, and then it's got a big bird on it. What do you think? Maybe? I mean, it's got to be pretty old. It's war as that is. Looks like it was a two-piece. Cool. See what I see? Look at that. It's like some sort of pocket knife. Oh. The knife part's busted off. It's just the handle.
Okay, let's jinx this. So I got a <laughs> really nice sight to. I don't think I've really done any live digs. I'm kind of a battle out here. A lot of trash. Part of the problem is I've hit this too many times. So, you know, it's starting to get kind of thin out here. Another reason I'm not doing a lot of live digs out here is it's so dang hard to freaking get a target. By the time I get it out, you guys are asleep. I think I have it in the okay. Let's see what we got. See, and I got all that clay junk. I'll just throw it in my. Stiffer. Yep, it's in there. Told you guys he'd be asleep. Glad to uh, dang it. So I have some kind of cool old tag. I don't know what it says. It says Andy something. I don't know if I'll ever know what it says, but that I used to be cool, whatever it was. I think I just got a quarter. Oh, not just a quarter. Kid got a barber quarter. Man. I have been working and working. Man, what year is that? I think it's 1800s. Isn't that crazy? Is that? I wonder how long it's just been sitting there exposed. Look, it looks like half the coin was in and half the coin was out. <sighs> crazy. All right, let me get my magnifier. Oh man, 1893. How cool is that? You know, around here, that's not easy. Montana just doesn't go back that far. Dang. Alright, see what else we can get. We got a little time.